Love, come down. Girl, you make my love. Come down. Tell it, Dance TV. We are out here today in Bristol. That's right. Yes, we are out here in Bristol because I am dedicated to my interviews. So I was willing to travel down here. Anyway, we came to meet this geezer right here. This guy, all right. He is a dancer who's performed at such shows like Breaking Convention and Just the Boo. He's also um, worked with brand names like JD Sports and Pepsi. And he's also taking classes with Mr. Wiggles. So let's find out who he is and where he is coming from today. So Mr. Dancer, who's done all that wonderful, amazing stuff. What is your name and where are you coming from? My name is The Jester. And I'm from originally from Slough, but moved to Bristol. So. Jester, originally from Slough, and now is in Bristol. Let's start this interview off. Let's go. All right, so Jester, you trained in a variety of styles, including ballet, jazz, and tap. But the styles you chose to identify with and put your full focus on was popping. So what is it about popping which you with hip hop which you identify with the most? Um, the culture, more the culture. I don't have a lot of knowledge with hip hop, like the dance um, and a lot of the history, but it's more the culture. Coming together with people, at battles, any sort of event, ciphering, sharing, so. So like being immersed in that whole scene. Yeah, and... man, it's the atmosphere. It's really positive. It's fun. Yeah, man. It's... Yeah. Is it every aspect of cult, um, every aspect of hip hop culture you like, like breaking, mm -hmm. DJing? Yeah, I like graffiti. it all, man. I'm one of my best friends is a beatboxer as well. So obviously that's one of the elements. Yeah, man, it's, I, yeah, it's, it's a bit more the culture element, more than anything. That's what I rep like identify the most. You're a with. culture vulture. <laughs> 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 all right, that's all good. It's all good. All right. All right. So, like yourself, I've met Mr. Wiggles, taken classes with him, and been inspired by him. But there are other poppers like you, um, for you, like Kite and Salah, which inspired you to dance as well. So, what does a popper have to have about them which inspires you to dance? Is it just a cool, funky name that they need to nah, make you nah. dance? <laughs> what, what else will make you dance with it? Um, they got to have that. I don't know that element. That element that makes them different to everyone else. When they step in the room, everyone's everyone's watching everyone them. shudders and yeah, feels man. their presence like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, we could tell. They don't, they don't just have the technique. His power level's over 9,000. <laughs> yeah. They um they have their the character as well. A lot of, a lot of poppers miss that. It's the face like yeah. shows it. Do why why do you think that like, a lot of poppers miss that? I don't know. I, th I think they just do. Like it's, they concentrate more on like musicality and the technique. And obviously that's, you've got to concentrate on that, but like you've got to, have that character about you as well. I still lack that, and I, that's one of the things I practice on the most. But yeah, man, it's it, got that ooze, man. That I think that makes them different to everyone else. All right, cool, so. cool, cool. All right, awesome. All right, so Jester, you've taken your um, skills to the big stage, performing in some big shows like Breaking Convention and Just the Boo. What do you think these shows provide you with that enhance your skills? And what is it like also performing at a big event like this? Well, first of all, I've got to say, Just a Beauty is like a battle, so it's not a show. But I have performed yeah. it, performed it, and it was. Did you kick ass? Yeah, we kicked ass, man. <laughs> like me and my mate did. Um, we came in like the top 16, so it was, they picked the top eight um, best qualifiers, and then they they go out at battle. I think it was out like 50, 50. It was uh, a competition, like intimidating. Or was yeah, it like... was well intimidating. It was really <laughs> intimidating. But, um, but you still rocked to like, you know, I can't get scared for too long. I've got to go out yeah, there and yeah. smash it. Yeah, definitely, man. It was good, man. It was really good. That, that event was was one of my biggest achievements, man. It was something I've always wanted to do as well. So, But when we're breaking invention, that's, that was a bit scary, man. Being backstage, kind of getting, you know, the butterflies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But why, do, why do you think like they've enhanced your skills? Like, um, I don't know. Performing in front of people, I, like you've got to really practice that. Performing in front of people, like you got to have that energy, man. And like backstage, sometimes you're kind of like thinking about uh, the choreography. Am I going to get it right and stuff like that? So that's helped me be a lot more confident about going on stage. Like the, the prep as well. Like you have to yeah. prepare for for shows and stuff, like rehearsals and stuff. So. Yeah, sharpen man. your tool, sharpen yeah, your man. blade, young Padawan. Yeah, man. Sharpen your knife and your sword, and you will be able to slice anything. <laughs> Same applies to dance. <laughs> All right, so you've also worked with some big brand names, you know, corporate companies like Pepsi and JD Sports. As a dancer, what opportunities of work do companies like this offer? More opportunities. They offer more opportunities. I did um one JD job once. It was like a refurbishment for their shop, and and then they offered me a couple more shops to to dance 
Yeah. Well, so when well, it was so getting refurbished, you was in there like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now more at the, at the front of the shop, at the front of the shop, or in the in the, in the shop as well. They create like a big space, and then yeah, yeah, just go out, man, freestyle, whatever. And they also offer like a lot of like free uh, gear. So we, the JD, they offer like trainers, a whole like tracksuit, a hat if you want, like accessories. But yeah, man. Is it something that they will like regularly contact you for? Right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, if they if they like what you did, then yeah, they will offer you more, and I have. So yeah, man. I did um the Pepsi Pepsi Co. PepsiCo, who own obviously Pepsi and other brands like Doritos and stuff, yeah, that was we're the often. Pepsi yeah. generation. <laughs> Guzzle down and taste the ill of the day and feel the Pepsi way. Oh, oh, oh. If you haven't seen that advert, check it out. It's got Carlton from the Fresh Prince dancing with Michael Jackson. I need to see yeah. it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, check it out. Just go home and YouTube it. Yeah, like, Fresh that. Prince, Michael Jackson. I mean, not Fresh Carlton. Well, you know what I'm talking about, people. Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's cool. Anything else on that point? Um, no, no, no. no. All right, cool. Well, Mr. Jester, thank you so much for coming on the show today and exploring your roots of hip hop. But before you go, just shout out a few links we can all visit you at. And what advice would you give to those in the popping game about performing? Um, some advice. Um, you're always a student. Always, always be the student. Don't be the master. Because then you're always willing to grow and stuff like that. You're always willing to learn more. Yeah, man. Um, and just train and practice every single day, man. That's the only way you're going to get better. You can't just can't go one day without doing it. You've got to do it every day. You've got you to hear practice that? graph, man. Yeah. Practice, practice. Perfect practice makes perfect. Exactly. Uh, permanent makes permanent. Makes it permanent. And uh, what about all these links so these lovely people can visit oh, yeah, you yeah. Right? check um, you out? Check me on Walkman Studios, Walkman's crew on YouTube. Um, type in The Jester, J-E-S-T-A-R. Um, check me up on Instagram, I am The Jester. And yeah, and Facebook as well, Curtis Jester. Thanks. All right, so people, make sure you check him out, all right? He's dope, he's awesome. You can learn a lot from him, so make sure you obviously do that. Um, obviously, please um, like this video, show it to everyone you know, your your colleagues, your family, your friends, your associate, even your enemies, they might enjoy it. Also, um, yeah, subscribe with me, subscribers, and also leave a comment so that I know you're enjoying the show. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know where we're at, we're all on that, Instagram, fit, Facebook, Twitter, and yeah. Anything else you got to say? Um... Talent Dance TV, man. Talent Dance TV. Walkman Studios. Check it out as well. All right, thank you, people. Peace out and enhance it on. Enhance it. Bye. The moon walk out. We can mix it and we can do some like some African or something. Exactly. Well, you know, we should just take over, like, yeah, just take over the whole. Take over. This is the whole of London. You know, really, city, city. Second round on the lady. You know, so say you are driving me crazy. The way you are, you are busy. You know, take a bag of man like this. Popping. So, what is it about hip hop which you identify with the most? Hip hop, like, oh, bloody hell, man. Sorry. It's just a.